There's the pass to Houdini. Here's Houdini. Throws it up high. And stolen by Williams. And they've got Christie. Houdini is out there with Marble. Then there's Brown. And it's Houdini at the one spot. He passes to Williams. And he finishes nicely on the way. And he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. Brown outside. Here's Houdini. Pass to Christie. Here's Marble. Shot clock at five. From 12 feet out. And it's blocked by Kidd. Stripped away. Here's Christie. Houdini passes to Christie. Here's Houdini. And shot on the way. Misses off the right iron. They came close there to tying it up. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, that would have been a big bucket for him. Now here's Kidd. Here's Maverick. Six to shoot. Pass to Pete. From outside the arc. They get it again. Williams. And the shot goes in. Williams has got 19 points. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Passes to Houdini. Williams with the block. Goes up on the wing, and he gets the jumper to drop. Williams has got 13 points now in the quarter. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Here's Houdini. To end the drought. And it's blocked by Kidd. Here's Ivy. Defended by Christie. Ivy with the bucket. He's got 19. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. You can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. And timeout called by Chris Finch. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. This is as good a game as we've seen him play. And this crowd can't get enough of it when he explodes like this. It becomes a special atmosphere in here. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch told the team. He said, look, you guys are playing Two physical and I like game. that, Two minutes. but it has to be under control. We've committed to way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Here's Houdini. Good defense by Kidd. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Here's Mr. Perfect. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Houdini. Good defense by Kidd. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Here's Ivy. It's good. Ivy's got 21. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Here's Houdini. Here's Christie. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Christie's got five points now in the quarter. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Here's Ike, defended by Christie. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The pass to Matt. Here's Mr. Perfect. 
Here's Ivy. And the three off target. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. It doesn't look good, even with a quick bucket here. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up on that rim, didn't he? The refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one and that increases their lead to six. At the line for two. Second one is good. And both at the line. It's a seven-point game. Since in an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. And timeout called by Chris Finch. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, they got to get straight to the hoop, then a foul immediately. Going to be hard, though. I mean, they don't have much time to work with here, but we've seen crazy stuff happen in this game. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. It falls! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Now that's where you like your shots to come from. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Fourteen foul. Shooting for the home team. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. No time to waste on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. Kicks it to Marble. Here's Christie. Offensive rebound. From the arc. And no good that time. And now they decide to foul attention. Second personal foul. 15 foul. Shooting for the home team. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he goes two for two at the line, oh, and it's an eight-point game. And timeout called by Chris Finch. Guys, what do you think? Trying to keep hope alive, but but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's a long time. Go home team. Off the inbound pass. A shot that time, not on target. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort.